welcome back to another video. So today I have a makeup tutorial on this look right here. It's my navy Asian wedding get ready with me or makeup tutorial. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of do like a colour series. Um, I did bronze last week so I thought I'd do navy. I get like Indian wedding makeup tutorials are one of like the most requested videos I get from you in terms of like theme and kind of like... Uh, videos focus on Indian skin tones and warmer skin tones so I thought why not do a colour series um, on like the Indian wedding makeup tutorial series so next week will be green um, actually no next week is purple and I think the week after I'll do green I also do want to mention like if you go to a lot of Indian weddings and you wear a lot of colour this Urban Decay palette is like bomb. Yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into this video and stop rambling. I hope you guys will enjoy it. I already have my eyebrows done. I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in dark brown and I'm just touching up a few bits on the outer edge. And then for my eyelids, I started with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and grabbed the shade Bay from Huda the Huda Beauty palette and set that in place. And now I'm using the shade Henna and I'm just buffing this with a fluffy brush in the crease, the outer corner and in the corner of my eyelid. And I'm bringing it quite high and I made sure that I used less pressure as I go upwards. And then I got, went in with Cocoa which is a darker brown. And that went underneath Henna. You don't want to mix the two together even though I kind of did but try to mix the two as less as you can. Um, but just make sure everything's blended. I just wanted the outer corners to be a bit dark. And then I went in with Black Truffle which is literally a black shade and I'm just buffing this into the outer corner and inner corner with a small M509 brush by Morphe. And once I'm done with that I'm going to grab the Urban Decay After Dark palette and I'm using this dark navy shade first on, my, on the centre of my lid. And then I also went in with the lighter turquoise colour. Um, in the palette which is so stunning and I wanted to make that in centre bit pop so I just placed that on the centre and I did use my finger because I feel like these shadows work best with a finger and then I went back with my brushes that I used with Coco and Henna just to touch up the outer bits and make sure that everything was nicely blended and I feel like this is the bit where you just go in and touch up any areas you feel like need more blending or need cut more colour um, and yeah, and here I felt like I needed to wing it out a bit more so I was quite messy with it I knew I was going to use a, a wipe so you don't have to be neat Just make sure it's nicely blended on the areas where you know the eyeshadow is going to be staying And then I just made a sharp line with the makeup wipe And now I'm grabbing the shade Moon Dust for the, from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette And I'm just highlighting my brow bone with that It's a nice gold pale shade and for lashes, I'm using my Cocoa Lashes in a mall. I swear down, these lashes are like the best pair I have. Um, and now I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Coal Pencil in black. This is like a really, really nice high-end eye pencil. And I just tight line with this and line my waterline. I'm doing this while my eyelashes were drying, by the way. And then um, for lashes, or mascara I mean, I'm using my Lancome Monsieur Big mascara i swear like i've been wearing this every day it's just like with a few swipes it gives you so much volume and today i'm not doing two layers because i'm obviously wearing lashes but it just looks stunning it's just so nice but anyways i'm going to put my lashes on i did use the revlon lash glue by the way it's like my go-to lash glue and i've been loving these tweezer things sent by me sent to me by classy lashes and it just helps to make my lashes and the fake lashes bind together now using the Urban Decay Shapeshifter palette in medium dark, I'm using the orange corrector shade and just correcting any areas of my face, especially like the pigmentation on my cheeks and around my mouth. And then foundation today, I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Tahoe and the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Caramel. And I'm mixing these two together and I did use my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush just to bend, blend everything out. I do have a coupon code in the info box if you guys want any money off from Sigma. Their brushes are really, really nice. But I've been loving this brush because it has this flat edge and I feel like it gives me the most coverage possible. And literally you can just tell like it covers everything instantly. Obviously the foundations are really good but the brush really helps to keep that full coverage there. But yeah, I'm just blending away. Then um, I'm going to use some concealer. I don't know when that's going to come up. Oh, I'm doing my forehead, taking my time. 
But yeah, for concealer, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in tan. And I'm just using this under my eyes and blending it out with my damp beauty blender. And it is like literally kind of like my skin tone. It's a tad lighter, but not light enough. So what I do is I go in with the highlight shade in the Urban Decay palette. Don't know what I'm doing there, but I'm just going to highlight my under eyes um, with that. And I feel like this really helps to like really brighten my under eye. The Too Faced concealer is there is there to kind of like conceal my under eyes but then this palette helps me to really highlight and make it bright under the eyes and wherever I want a brighter area so I'm just blending away with my beauty blender and I do like to highlight my forehead now because I feel like I have a small forehead so to make it appear a bit larger I just put a lot of highlight on there and it makes it look a bit bigger when you put the contour on I'm using the darkest color in the palette the cream color and I'm just going to place this with a brush this is the Urban Decay um, brush I'll write the brush that I used in the info box um, but I'm just placing the product on first and then I'm going in with my uh, beauty blender just to blend it out I will have a review on this palette tomorrow by the way just like key points about it because some of you wanted an in-depth review on it so yeah but it's just stunning like I'm just gonna blend it with my beauty blender and just look at it, it just blends so perfectly um, I've literally been using this every day, I'm not even kidding you, like just to like bronze and highlight my face. Once I was done with all the blending, I went in with my Kat Von D loose setting powder and I did a bit of baking under my eyes. And I literally keep that on for li like two minutes, not even two minutes, like two seconds and I just brush it all off and with whatever excess powder I have, I just use it on my forehead, my nose and my chin. And then I'm using a contour colour from the palette and I'm just going to place that on the cream contour just to kind of bronze up a bit more and I did do a mistake there. But I will show you, I wanted to keep it in to show you how easy like it is to fix up because these powders are so easy to work with. But there you go, it's just gone. So I just continued with my blending. And I really really like to contour my hairline and put bronzer there because I just feel like it makes you give look super bronzy. Um, and for blush I'm using the Bobbi Brown blush in pale pink. And then for highlight I use the highlighter in the palette. And seriously, it looks pink in the palette, but look, it just goes on gold. It's so weird. I feel like that's why I didn't use it the first time, because I don't really like pink highlighters. But when you put it on the skin, it's literally like a gold highlight, which is perfect for darker skin tones. Um, but yeah, I'm just high highlighting the highest points of my face. And then finally, I'm using my Smashbox Primer Water just to set everything in place and make everything melt together. And then I did go in with cocoa and black truffle from the Huda Beauty palette under on my lower lash line. And I also went in with my Lancome mascara again on my lashes as well. But seriously, like you can just blend those two colours on your lower lash line. And then I also went with Moon Dust that we use on the brow bone in the inner corner as well. I then took my Urban Decay Cold Pencil again and draw a bindi on my forehead. Uh, you can obviously buy these but I didn't have any, my mum didn't have any so I thought let me just draw it on, you can do this, you don't have to worry about it falling off but yeah I did that and then for lips I'm going with my MAC lip pencil in Spice I wanted to have my lips like a pinky nude so I went in with that and then for liquid lipstick I used my Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in Girlfriend which is like one of my go to colours to use like on a daily basis like literally this is the one I keep in my handbag so that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see more makeup tutorials like these, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.